Mike Bond of USA Today Sports and MMA Junkie here on scene in Curitiba, Brazil for UFC 198. And I'm standing next to the newest member of MMA Junkie's reporting team, Fernanda Praches. Do you feel stadium shows like this are something they could do routinely? Or is it something that, you know, this might be it for a little while at least? Um, I wouldn't say routine, uh, routinely. I say uh, it really depends on the names. Um, when you get Belfort and Anderson in the same card, to me, that was like the major thing. Obviously, Anderson didn't end up happening, but they put together such a strong card that I, I had actually said it before, like the day they get Anderson and Vitor together in the same card, that's the day we're going to do a stadium event. And that's exactly what happened. Also, uh, the Curitiba pick was a very good one because as you guys know, like this is one of the birthplaces of Brazilian uh, MMA, well, Vale Tudo back then. So this is kind of like it all came together to make this a major event but I don't think this is something that they can keep up with on a regular basis. Of course, the main event, Fabricio Verdum putting the heavyweight championship on the line against Stipe Miocic. What do you think of this fight? Is, you know, is Verdum the right guy to headline this card, first of all? And do you think uh, you know, he retains? Do you think Stipe presents a challenge that he hasn't seen in this amazing winning streak he's had of late? When it comes to like, calling heavyweight fights, we all struggle with it, I guess, because there's always that power thing, like that factor that the fight can end at any minute. But having said that, um, I do feel like Verdu Miocic doesn't really have the tools to surprise Verdum. That's my issue with it. So that's why I would uh, say Verdum is the favorite. For Verdum in Curitiba, it made perfect sense because obviously he's trained at Chichiboxi. It's how like he got his start in MMA. Obviously he had like this huge uh, Jiu-Jitsu background and. Um, so yeah, it makes sense. It makes sense because he's a champion. So and the heavyweight champion on the list, like the most popular division. So of course we talk about Vitor and Anderson as like the household names in Brazil. But Verdum has certainly made himself very popular, not only uh, because of his like fighting skills that are undeniable, but he's like this funny guy, very charismatic, very good with the audience, does a lot of media. So all those things turn uh, Verdum into a really popular guy and to me the right guy to be here doing this fight now. Yeah, and a lot of other names on the card but I feel like the person who's got the most attention this week is Cyborg Justino. Uh, you know the Invicta champion coming over a long long awaited UFC debut it's finally happening she's been received very very well it seems. Uh, how excited are you to finally see Cyborg in the octagon? Do you feel you know this is happening too late? Is it happening at the right time? How do you feel? It's happening at the right time. I mean her division just doesn't exist. Right? So everything that we were talking about, Rhonda, Holly, whatever, she just couldn't make the weight. Now she's trying it on, doing the catch weight, doing her debut here, where she's from. So I think like it all came together in the perfect way, really. It's the perfect storm for Cyborg to debut right now. So I, I think it's a, it's a good time. And I was actually, I don't want to say surprised, uh, but intrigued by the sheer amount of attention that she got because it's this super stacked card and she kind of like stole the show, especially uh, in the last two weeks. So it's been very interesting to watch. I'm very curious to see uh, not only her debut, but how things evolve from there because we still obviously don't know what's going to happen with the weight and the divisions and whatnot. So I'm very curious. A lot of great fights on Saturday, a stack card top to bottom. We'll have coverage all night long at MMAJunkie.com. Read Fernanda's great work that she's done since joining the site. It's all there. And uh, thank you so much for watching. We'll have all the coverage. Thank you.